All right, well, hitting the road during the summer is so much more than just planning when you'll leave the house and which interstate route to take. Let's get some essential safety tips now from Ken Borden for your next trip. Hi, my name's Ken, and today I'm here to talk to you about uh, tire pressure and its maintenance and, and the importance of uh, keeping up your tire pressure. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to check your pressure in your tires. Remove your valve cap, and this uh, capped part here, you just go on to press over the valve stem so you can hear the uh, air to stop coming out. You want to completely trap the air inside. And once you do that, it'll shoot out the bottom here and it'll tell you what your air pressure is. Uh, now, the pressure for every vehicle does vary. They actually locate the pressure for uh, every vehicle on the door placard. Uh, it can be in the glove box or also on the fuel cap, uh, the lid of the fuel cap. Uh, and that's where you'd want to check to, to find out where you, the proper air pressure for your vehicle would be. Now, if you do have aftermarket wheels on your vehicle, uh, you do want to probably, you want to contact your local tire store professional um, and uh, find out what the proper air pressure would be for the aftermarket wheels and tires. A demonstration about tire tread and uh, the amount of tire tread. Standard tire gauge. A new tire will typically come with 11 30 seconds tread. Uh, it was brand new. Um, this tire over here is right at 630 seconds, which would be considered to be half tread. Um, and as you can see, this tire over here, it's got some issues. Uh, it, not only is it worn out, but you can see the inside edge right here. This is an indication of uh, alignment issue with the vehicle. Um, another important part of maintaining your vehicle is that you can take care of the tires. Um, the difference I got here, you can see this tire being brand new when it comes to the road is going to take care of the water much better than either of these two tires and just kind of goes down from there. Most people don't have a, a, a tread depth gauge for measuring tread uh, for so everybody at home the easiest way to measure tread is with a simple penny. Um, easiest way to do that is you want to measure the tread with the head down and when you measure it if you can see the top of Abraham Lincoln's head here that's indicating it's time for you to replace your tires. You don't want to overload your vehicle because you're also overloading the tires. The tires are actually what is between you and the road. So if you have the tires overloaded, um, let's just say you're going to go on a trip. Well, number one, that's going to affect your fuel efficiency, uh, which it's not great there. The tires are going to get hot, uh, which is going to create more drag. Uh, that's partly why you lose your fuel efficiency. And when the tires drag or you have what's called rolling resistance, the, the tires are going to get hotter. Um, and what that's doing is promoting a potential increase of uh, tire failure at that point. It's important to rotate the tires uh, frequently. Uh, it is recommended between every six and 8,000 miles. The reason why you want to do that, it's going to help those tires wear evenly between the front and the back. Uh, the more often, the more frequently you rotate the tires, the more evenly those tires are going to wear. The importance of alignment uh, of the vehicle is, is because of maintenance. Um, and the easiest way to tell if you have an alignment issue is simply if your vehicle is pulling to one direction or the other, uh, or if your steering wheel is crooked. Those are the two biggest indications that you do need alignment. Well, it has a tendency to rain here in Tennessee quite a bit. And when it does, it usually likes to drop a lot of rain in a short amount of time. When your tires are new, that's not too much of an issue for you. As your tires get worn out or more worn, that's when all the wet, the rain that we get here becomes an issue. Wearing your tires out completely down until they're, they're worn out just really isn't ideal. Uh, the reason why is that tires not going to be able to handle it. When the tires are new, everybody loves their tires. They're great. They think they're the best tires in the world. When they get worn down, they think that the tires really aren't that great. But the simple fact is, the tires are what's on the ground and they're what's between you and the water. And they have to be able to encounter that puddle and be able to handle that puddle. And if it doesn't have enough tread, you're going to hydroplane. So wearing the tires down all the way to the wear bar really isn't the safest thing to do. You want to wear it, replace it just slightly before that so you can be safe. This definitely is a an issue of safety. It has nothing to do more than that. It rains here a lot, so please keep an eye on your tires and enjoy your summer. If you want more information about tire tips, uh, visit our website at www.discounttire.com.